Imagine a story written in your very DNA, a story of long voyages, ancient migrations, and unexpected encounters that spans tens of thousands of years. In the heart of the Pacific, amid thousands of islands that glitter under the tropical sun, lies an archipelago with a genetic tale as rich and diverse as its culture. Recent scientific revelations have shed new light on the origins of the Filipino people, showing that modern Filipinos are not the product of a single ancestral source, but rather the result of multiple waves of migration, cultural exchanges, and centuries of intermingling among various groups. This is the story of how ancient peoples, bold seafarers, and even colonial legacies converged to shape the genetic mosaic of the Philippines. For many years, historians and anthropologists debated the origins of the inhabitants of the Philippine Islands. Early theories painted a picture of a people descended solely from Austronesian migrants who set sail from Taiwan around 2200 BC. However, recent advances in genetic research have revealed a far more intricate tapestry Modern genetic studies, including a landmark study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences in 2021, have shown that the Filipino gene pool is the product of at least five distinct waves of migration spanning nearly 50,000 years. This revelation has turned conventional wisdom on its head and opened a new chapter in our understanding of human migration in Southeast Asia. The earliest chapter of this story begins more than 40,000 years ago when the first humans arrived in what is now the Philippines. These ancient pioneers, often referred to as the Negritos, were likely descendants of the early modern humans who embarked on a coastal migration out of Africa. As they made their way through South and Southeast Asia, these small-statured, dark-skinned peoples settled in isolated pockets across the archipelago. Their genetic legacy still lingers today among groups like the Eta, Ati, Batak, and Mamanwa. Though they now make up only a small fraction of the total population, their ancient genes are a living reminder of a time when the islands were first touched by humanity. But the story does not end there. Several millennia later, a dramatic new wave of migrants set sail from the region of Taiwan. Armed with advanced seafaring technology and a spirit of adventure, these Austronesian-speaking people embarked on one of the greatest migrations in human history. They navigated vast stretches of open ocean and reached the northern islands of the Philippines, including the Batanes, before rapidly spreading throughout the archipelago. This migration, now known as the Austronesian Expansion, brought not only new languages and technologies, but also new genes that blended with those of the indigenous Negritos. Over time, this intermingling produced the diverse ethnic tapestry we now recognize as the modern Filipino population. Recent DNA studies have confirmed that the genetic makeup of modern Filipinos is far from uniform. Instead, it is marked by a mosaic of ancestries that reflect waves of migration from different regions. One of the most striking findings is the evidence of multiple early migrations that can be traced through autosomal DNA. For instance, some indigenous groups in the mountainous areas of northern Luzon show genetic signatures that set them apart from other Filipino groups, signatures that hint at an ancient arrival predating the Austronesian expansion. These groups, including the Cordillerans, have been described as the least admixed East Asians in the region, preserving a genetic heritage that links them closely to the early seafaring peoples of southern China and Taiwan. As scientists delved deeper into the genetic data, they began to notice subtle yet significant signals from other regions. Alongside the dominant Austronesian ancestry, traces of Papuan, South Asian, and even European genes emerged. In some coastal and lowland populations, particularly among urbanized communities, a modest amount of European ancestry has been detected. This is not the result of recent intermarriage alone. Rather, it reflects older admixture events dating back to the colonial era when Spanish and, later, American influences left their mark on the islands. In addition, groups such as the Sama Bajau, the sea nomads of the Sulu archipelago, carry genetic traces that suggest a connection with South Asian populations. This points to the fact that, long before the advent of European colonization, the Philippines was already a crossroads of cultures and peoples, connected by ancient maritime trade networks that spanned from the Indian Ocean to the Pacific. The genetic story of the Philippines is also intertwined with its cultural and linguistic heritage. As Austronesian migrants spread across the islands, they brought with them languages that would evolve and diversify into the many dialects spoken today. 
The close genetic ties between the Filipinos and the indigenous peoples of Taiwan, such as the Amis, are mirrored in the similarities between their languages and cultural practices. For centuries, the flow of ideas, technologies, and traditions along maritime routes helped shape a unique Filipino identity, a blend of indigenous, Austronesian, and later colonial influences that can be seen in everything from cuisine to art, music, and even social norms. One of the most fascinating aspects of the recent genetic studies is the discovery that modern Filipinos are the product of not one but several migratory events. According to researchers, after the initial arrival of Negrito populations, there were at least two separate waves of East Asian migration. One of these waves is most strongly represented among the inland groups, such as the Manobo, whose genetic markers suggest an arrival that may have occurred around 15,000 years ago as the last ice age was drawing to a close. Another wave is seen among the coastal Sama Bajau peoples, who exhibit genetic links with mainland Southeast Asian groups like the Lua and Mlabri. These discoveries suggest that as the climate warmed and sea levels rose, new populations ventured into the archipelago, each adding a new chapter to the story of Filipino ancestry. It is essential to recognize that the genetic landscape of the Philippines is not static. It is dynamic, shaped by continuous interactions over millennia. The islands have long been a melting pot where traders, settlers, and travelers from distant lands converged. Long before European ships sailed into Manila Bay, there were vibrant trade networks connecting the Philippines with neighboring regions. Chinese traders, for instance, had been visiting the islands for centuries, and their interactions contributed to a measurable Chinese genetic influence, particularly among coastal communities. In the pre-colonial period, these interactions were part of an intricate web of cultural exchange that included not only China, but also India, Arabia, and various Southeast Asian polities. Each of these contacts left its imprint on the local gene pool, further enriching the genetic mosaic that is the modern Filipino identity. The story takes another dramatic turn during the colonial era. When Spanish explorers first set foot in the Philippines in the early 16th century, they brought with them not only their language and religion, but also a new wave of genetic influence. Although Spanish rule lasted for more than three centuries, the genetic impact on the general population was relatively modest compared to the overwhelming Austronesian and indigenous influences. Still, traces of European ancestry can be found, particularly in urban centers and among certain elite groups who intermarried with the native population. Later, during the American colonial period and subsequent periods of immigration, other Western influences seeped into the gene pool, adding yet another layer of complexity to the Filipino genetic narrative. Yet amid all these waves of migration and interaction, what is most surprising is how the Filipino people have maintained a strong sense of identity despite their diverse origins. Their genetic diversity is not a sign of fragmentation, but rather a testament to their resilience and adaptability. The Filipino story is one of integration, of diverse groups coming together, sharing their knowledge, and building a society that reflects the best of each contribution, whether through the deep-rooted traditions of the indigenous peoples, the seafaring prowess of the Austronesian migrants, or the enduring cultural influences of centuries of trade and colonization, the Filipino identity has emerged as something unique and profoundly rich. As you listen to this narrative, consider the powerful imagery of ancient mariners venturing into the unknown, guided only by the stars and the rhythm of the waves. Picture small bands of early humans setting up camp on remote islands, their lives intertwined with the natural world, surviving on the fruits of a bountiful land yet untouched by modern civilization. Over time, these early communities encountered new arrivals, people with different languages, different ways of life, and different dreams. They shared food, exchanged stories, and sometimes intermarried, slowly weaving together a complex tapestry of genetic traits and cultural practices. This process of blending and adaptation was not always smooth or conflict-free. There were challenges along the way, clashes over resources, the need to adapt to new environments, and the inevitable tensions that arise when disparate groups meet. Yet through it all, the archipelago became a crucible of human innovation and endurance. The blending of genes was mirrored by a blending of ideas, Agricultural techniques, navigation skills, artistic expressions, and spiritual beliefs merge to form a cultural heritage that is as diverse as it is unified. 
Modern scientific techniques have given us the tools to read this genetic narrative with unprecedented clarity. By analyzing tiny fragments of DNA passed down from generation to generation, researchers can trace the footprints of ancient migrations. They can identify genetic markers that are specific to particular regions or groups, unraveling the complex history of human settlement in the Philippines. The discoveries are often surprising. For example, the realization that certain indigenous groups carry genetic signatures that connect them not only to other Austronesian peoples, but also to ancient Papuan populations, or that some coastal communities exhibit traces of South Asian ancestry dating back to early maritime trade networks. These findings have profound implications for how we understand not only the history of the Philippines, but also the broader story of human migration across the Asia-Pacific region. The Philippines, once considered a peripheral outpost, now stands at the center of a vibrant narrative of human dispersal. Its islands were not simply reached by chance. They were actively sought out by groups driven by curiosity, necessity, and the promise of new beginnings. In many ways, the genetic story of the Filipinos mirrors the broader human story, a tale of exploration, adaptation, and the enduring quest for survival and connection. In today's globalized world, the genetic heritage of the Filipino people serves as a bridge linking the past with the present. It reminds us that our identities are not fixed, but are continually shaped by the journeys of our ancestors. The very diversity that once set the early Filipinos apart now unites them, giving rise to a rich cultural and historical legacy that is celebrated both within the archipelago and by Filipino communities around the globe. As we reflect on these discoveries, it is important to appreciate that the surprising genetic origins of the Filipinos are not merely academic curiosities. They have real meaning for millions of people who call the Philippines home. This knowledge can foster a deeper understanding of the nation as pluralistic heritage, a heritage that is a source of pride, resilience, and unity. In classrooms, homes, and cultural institutions, these scientific insights can help shape a narrative that honors the past while inspiring future generations to embrace diversity and seek common ground. So, the next time you meet someone who proudly identifies as Filipino, remember that their story is written not only in history books, but also in the very strands of their DNA. It is a story of brave mariners, ancient wanderers, and countless lives that converged on a cluster of islands in the vast Pacific Ocean. It is a story of hope, perseverance, and the remarkable human spirit that has crossed oceans, scaled mountains, and overcome unimaginable odds to create the vibrant mosaic we see today. In this narrative of human migration, the Philippines stands as a living testament to the power of adaptation and the beauty of cultural synthesis. Each gene, each tradition, and each language tells a part of this grand story, a story that continues to evolve with every generation. The surprising genetic origins of the Filipinos are a celebration of our shared human journey, reminding us that beneath the surface, we are all connected by the same ancient rhythms of life, exploration, and the unyielding quest for a better tomorrow. Let this story be a reminder that every person carries within them the legacy of a million footsteps across time and space. The genetic tapestry of the Philippines is not just about numbers and percentages, it is about the human heart, the will to explore, and the enduring connections that bind us together as one people with many roots and a single vibrant future.